Well, this, they tell me, is the new Charan. They had to tell me it was the new Charan because apart from the grille and the bonnet and headlights, it looks pretty much exactly the same as the last one. What's new about it? Well, apparently it's got a brand new interior that uh, makes the inside of the Charan a, quote, delightful place to be. Is that true? Let's find out. Oh yes, here's a new dashboard, new little storage bins on top, familiar Volkswagen Venetian blind air vents and yes a very Volkswagen looking dashboard with the familiar red and blue instrument lighting a la Amsterdam nightclub and according to the press release there's a new umbrella holder and new coat hangers. Wow! <laughs> quite interested to drive this car because the rumour mill says Dr Piet, the feared number one man at Volkswagen, never really liked the Charan. That's probably because it was built in a, a joint project factory in Portugal with Ford. The idea being the factory produced the Ford Galaxy, the Volkswagen Charan and the Sears Alhambra. Now Piet never liked the idea of sharing something with Ford and last year Volkswagen brought out the whole caboodle and this is the first product of the new factory. Apparently he likes this a lot better. Four-wheel drive is optional on the V6 and the most powerful diesel and a five-speed automatic Tiptronic transmission will be optional later this year. One of the buzzwords of the motor industry is niche marketing. Everybody's looking for that little special slot for their car. Well, this is a niche within a niche, a high-performance MPV, because this Charan is fitted with the V6 2.8-litre engine. It used to be called the VR6 that everybody knew, but for some reason they dropped the R. I think that's a mistake, because there is a V6 in the Volkswagen range derived from the Audi. Still with me? Anyway, the VR6 in this, as was, now develops 204 brake horsepower that makes this Charan a very rapid device indeed. Nothing much has changed in the ride and handling department. You feel as though you sit high in the car with a good view out over the traffic around you. It feels very car-like, not as much roll as you might expect, and for a vehicle that could be called on to handle a hefty load, compliant and smooth suspension settings. People carriers are undoubtedly a growing part of the UK market, but the big question, which particular sector? Because the research indicates some drivers, especially women, still think these things are too big and bulky for everyday use. And the smaller MPVs, led of course by Renault Scenic, which was a runaway success, are going to dominate. Vauxhall are hoping for success with their Zafira, Citroen have introduced the Picasso, Volkswagen are going to introduce an MPV version of the Golf very soon. And it's those cars that many industry pundits say will be leading the market.